to Terror Tuesday, happening once a month here exclusively in Tempe at the world famous Alamo Draft House. This is a Tempe exclusive, folks. We try to make it as fun for you by bringing you the weirdest, the best, the goriest, the weirdest horror films of any genre known as terror that you are likely to find in the Metro Tempe area, which is probably like five blocks. That's right, folks. My name is Victor Moreno. Some of you may know me from Cold Classics. Some of you may know me from Video Vortex or Fist City or all of the above. I also host a lovely film podcast called Cult Following. You should check it out on iTunes. So, I want to tell you that I am happy we got a big crowd because this month at Terror Tuesday, we're celebrating Women in Horror Month. This is an important thing, it happens every February, and we gotta remember, folks, women are not just scream queens or final girls. They get behind the curtain, and, and behind the camera, in front of the camera, they craft some of our favorite films. And sometimes these films, on their original release, are not well received, or people just wanna post a label on them and be like, that movie cannot possibly be any good. It's got Megan Fox and she was in Confessions of a Teenage Prom Queen. She was in those terrible Transformers movies and it's got Amanda Seyfried, her of the weird eyes in the Red Riding Hood film. But no, this movie has a lot going on. It has a really interesting film structure. Uh, you know, we talk a lot about the Coen brothers and in No Country for Old Men how we're subverted we don't get that, that final clash between Josh Brolin and Anton Sugar. This one, we don't get to see the entire third act because it's more about characters. We're learning in this movie about how two characters relate, how a crazy event affects their lives, and can they still be friends when demons are involved? Right? Who has seen this movie or who hasn't seen this movie? All right. So, what you're going to see in this movie is you're going to see some of the spectacularly kitschy dialogue of Diablo Cody, who wrote Juno, but also wrote some, some movies I really like, but other people don't much care for, like Young Adult or Tully, which are actually really good. You're also going to get some really quality like acting from some teenage actors that you might not expect, and what you really get here is the work of Karen Kasama, who's really coming to her own as a filmmaker. Um, this year she directed Destroyer, which I think is one of the best films that came out in 2018. If you guys have not seen that movie, you should go out of your way to see it. And she also directed a really great horror movie called The Invitation, which is awesome and a really freaky movie about cults. Who has, and also has a Logan Marshall Green, who was the main guy in Upgrade. Yeah, Upgrade! Upgrade, people! Watch this movie. That's right. Also, I'll throw in a little tidbit for you. I got to talk to Lance Henriksen a few months ago. And uh, if you've seen this movie, who knows who Lance Henriksen is? Yeah, Bishop! Yeah, Bishop from Aliens. That's right. He's a very well-known genre actor. He shows up in this movie for like two seconds. Um, and the whole thing with that is... They were going to do a sequel to this, It was our, and he was going to be the big bad, who was the head of a satanic cult and everything, but then the movie didn't do well, so that didn't happen. But he was super excited about it and told me a bunch about it, so find me afterwards and I'll share some anecdotes with you. All right, who's excited to see this movie? All right, now that I've given you the film history rundown, this movie's going to be awesome. You're